so hello everyone uh, we will today look into how to link fuzzy uh, fuzzy logic with the simulink uh, and basically uh, for carrying different uh, rules in the fuzzy logic design we w we will try to uh, basically we know how we will try to understand how we can frame the different rules in the fuzzy logic first we will try to write fuzzy in the command window <coughs> after that this type of interface will open then we will go to import and try to import the files that we have did initially uh, this is a tips to file tips uh, tips fis means fuzzy interface system F fuzzy interface system once let me open this uh, tips file here you have the um, these are the basic atmosphere of the fuzzy uh, rules uh, the, we have two inputs the food quality and the services and we have corresponding membership this is for input food quality is input uh, and the services also input and tips is for output then we have the f then we have framed some rules here and these are some basic rules that we have did uh, we actually we have tried to keep it make it simple to, so that we can understand it properly uh, mm, uh, these are the basic rules once you open the mm, fuzzy logic fuzzy interface system in the in, in your pc now it is very important to understand understand it's very important for you to understand the basic concepts about the fuzzy logic uh, um, so um, this is the base for your um, uh, this is base for your uh, coming uh, tasks actually you have to understand these basic things very clearly so that you can do the upcoming tasks very easily uh, mm, let's do some these uh, actually uh, here in this uh, uh, fuzzy interface system you have to develop the rules uh, between the inputs and the outputs the inputs we are using here the food quality and the service and the output is for the tips uh, let's go back uh, let's go for the save go to files so i initially saved it so let's get So make try to make the name bit easy like tips or whatever you can say so that it become easy for you let's close this file um, then we go to simulink model of the fuzzy now let's open the blank model It will take some time to open the black model. Mm. Yeah, now the black model of the first uh, this MATLAB is opened. Mm. <coughs> uh. Uh, 
this is the basic uh, simulink model for the uh, let's go to the library library browser browser uh, I think most of you are familiar about this um, MATLAB system uh, in library system we have different types of objects available so whatever the objects that we just uh, go uh, uh, simulating first uh, because all these resources that we are use uh, available in this uh, uh, in we can use it our uh, model so we have different categories available in this um, library uh, we uh, you can go through them one by one it's for uh, important for your basic understanding uh, these first of all, we will go simulink after this, in the in the simulink we'll go to dashboards in dashboards we have different types types of equipments available here uh, by using these resource these uh, types of equipments in our experiment we will try to make the model so knowing these things from the scratch is very important for us to make the model uh, so try to understand these things very um, from basic and scratch so that you can make uh, the model uh, very easily uh, so basically you have to use these resources only for making the model so, so basic understanding is needed needs need is needed for us to uh, to understand the things uh, very easily uh, in simulating we have different types of open like uh, we have a continue dashboard is available as for us we have also some resources also like constant block particularly we are using constant block here uh what and there are some other uh, then we can see fuzzy logic toolbox this is important this is more and more and more important for us uh, this is fuzzy logic uh fuzzy logic controller once uh, we open the particular fis uh, and let's open that block to open uh, in the blank model particular model is let uh, yeah, particular model model is added to the uh, blank model here <coughs> uh, let's uh, let's understand the basic about this uh, so one thing is important here the folder where you have saved the fuzzy logic files make sure these files uh, the folder are opened in the in this um, matlab file and more, more important is things that please open that folder in the matlab where you have saved the fuzzy logic files so that you can the fuzzy logic controller box that we have uh, that we so make sure you can save open the current folder here let's go to the um, mm, let's first save this uh, blank model let's save this as tips because it becomes easy for us <coughs> so i should save it as tip and then you can see the particular files are representing uh, are showing here so it means that the current folder folder is hovering here so let's go to blank model blank simulic model and uh, double click on this you can see that uh, fis you can change this to tips the file the fuzzy logic our our file that was holding there is tips dot tip dot fis. Let's click on that now. Now now it's okay. If suppose if the file is not hovering in the previous you uh, say tip one somewhere is let's say it's not in a hovering to the current folder because it is not showing that the file is not present in the folder that you have opened. So make sure that 
you have opened the only that folder where you have saved the fuzzy logic file so in the, our previous model we have two inputs and one output so more important thing is that now we try to take a power GUI block power GUI block so in power GUI block we need to control the speed control the speed of the let's click the double click on the power GUI block So basically, power GUI um, controls or uh, controls overall, uh, overall we can say it controls speed of the software. Uh, uh, continuous me. Let's take the constant block, constant block as well, uh, and add it to the model. We need one more model, one more, and we also want to see the output as well. Uh, in the output, we can see mostly from the scope. Let's take the scope also and also the display block let's go to the display actually the scope display block show the accurate uh, result accurate result the display block shows a more accurate result try to double click on the scope and um, take it to the um, blank model while you have take all this uh, then we can use max then we can use the max max is nothing but multiplexer for take get for taking the more than two inputs or three input mostly we can use their max so let's we have two inputs here one is service and second one is food quality our two inputs the inputs that we can give here is from the constant block we can change the name of that constant block to service and uh, food quality and output we have tips that we can get from the display block let's change the name food quality and service food quality and service quality it's, then we're giving to the input of the logic controller box then we can connect to the uh, for display block the values of the food quality and the service is one and one please make to the stop time should be infinity so that it, it will continuously uh, it will continuously remain running now, now let's run the simulation It is showing the the risk for full quality and one and service quality one. We we frame the inter interface system which gives the output result of 0 0.8 something. Now let's change the values. Go to food quality, make it 0 0.2, and service quality, make it 0 0.5. Now apply it and OK. Now let's run it once again the now we can get some different values from the display properties how it's almost 0 0.8 let's bring the values a little bit down 0 0.2 apply and okay now the values are coming down 0 0.4092 to something so the both of the inputs food quality and the service quality and the display blocks are showing the output result now 
let's go to the dashboard and uh, in the dashboard we had different icons available uh, once so we try to use these dashboard equipments in our black model also Uh, actually within the da dashboard all the all there are so many icons they are mostly the input icons or the output icons we will go one by one uh, and understand which one is input icon and which one is output icon we will let's uh, first uh, uh, understand the basic uh, basic basic about this input and output icons one by one we can go and try to understand all the icons one by one so these are basically all all the uh, icons in the dashboard are input and output points so so wait 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 i have a little bit in the our file 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 maximum value was one and one so i if i can open the our fuzzy let us wait wait i can open my fuzzy file once again and try to see what are what what was our maximum and minimum values fuzzy tips file and open that and food quality the range was zero to one of in the range was zero to one. yeah food quality the range was zero to one yeah so basically we can change the values uh, from zero to one any value we can change the input quality and the service quality both the both for both inputs the value range from zero to one let's go some uh, icons in the dashboard basic about uh, basic about about the icons in the dashboard let's go one by one about them let's take them to the blank model here we have we have take them here this is slider and this is uh, uh, this is some what whether it's input or output and this is an edit it's an edit and one one is slider once i double click this editor i double click on this icon and it's ask me what do you connect what are the values you want to con oh, i want to connect the food quality here you once you click the food quality you will get the particular option is popping out click on that apply and okay and the values are reflecting here similarly go to the slider uh, call service quality skeleton and click on current uh, apply or oh, the maximum value is 0 to 1 minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 1 for the service quality as well apply and ok it does not have any option uh, Uh, these are the inputs these are basically two inputs we will put some custom gauge block we will, now we can take output uh, icon as well custom gauge block and quarter gauge these are the output icons this is an output icon by the way let's this uh, reflecting out I can double click on this icon and connect it to the our particular line where you want to connect that connect zero when range is zero to one apply and okay now make it please sure may be sure and save the file first now you can see the values are reflecting on the particular blocks is continuously running uh, this image because we have make the stop time as infinity um, 
the slight variation in the gauge and the slider as well let's make the change in the slider let's put take it to the one input one the corresponding changes will directly reflect on the gauge also let's make the change on the editor also you can see the values change correspondingly in the in the output output block as well so basically in the task you have to come up with as many as uh, blocks uh, uh, you can use uh, <coughs> Mm, actually in the task we have to use as many as rules uh, more dynamic the uh, uh, our um, simulation should be and more accurate the result it will give and definitely we accurate um, mostly we have to move go towards the more accuracy so that our result will be better for getting the result better we have to use as much um, rules as much possible uh, let's make a little bit changes also you can see the corresponding change once we make the changes in the slider and the editor we can get the change in the gauge block as well so these are the basic for the fuzzy logic how you can make the blank model now go to simulating dashboard once again and uh, and this is these are there the, these are only inputs and outputs available here these are mainly the inputs and output blo output blocks that are available in the dashboard and we will try to uh, understand the basic of these inputs and output uh, blockers in the upcoming videos more accurately this this was this class was basically with the basic of how, how we can uh, how we know the atmosphere of the MATLAB uh, how we can install the um, fuzzy logic in our uh, in our MATLAB so this was uh, with this video was overall that so I hope you have understand this basic about the fuzzy how we can make the blank model of the fuzzy logic so this was that in upcoming videos we will try to understand all the uh, uh, use of the inputs and output output blocks from the dashboard we will uh, we will one by one we will go all these inputs and out, output blocks in the dashboard so that this was this so yeah thank you